All right, it is game day of Raider Week, and we've got <laughs> Chiefs insider Nick Athlin here to talk about the big game, or will it be a big game? I mean, the Chiefs have already made the playoffs, right. so are we going to see a lot of players rested today? No, I, I think they're going to play to win the game. I think it's important to go in the, in the postseason with some momentum. I, I think the fact they want to keep their perfection at home at 8-0, no, they don't want to give anything away, any potential chinks in the armor when they have that playoff game at Arrowhead a week from today or a week from Saturday. We're not really sure which, what it's going to be at this point. But I think it's really important because the team is so young. you got a lot of guys that don't know any different, don't know any better, haven't been in this position before. Uh, go beat the Raiders. I mean, I think that's plan A. So do the Raiders come in with this mindset of, hey, we can at least knock them off the track a little bit, maybe make them a little mm -hmm. unsettled? Going, Do the Raiders have anything to gain out of this no, game? No, the, the only thing they have to gain is uh, they'll have the uh, distinguished fact if they go 6-0 and in the division, they'll be the only team in NFL history to win all of their division games and not make the playoffs. Wow, so, and not win the division uh, yeah, either. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's something that, uh, that they want to go, but it is kind of humorous if you look at it from a dark six side. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I think they have something to play for, but w which Raiders team is going to show up? Is it going to be the one that, uh, you know, kind of has flopped down the stretch? Is it going to be the one that played the Chiefs tough in Oakland? Uh, you know, Richard Seymour is a question mark, the defense uh, lineman, and, and uh, um, Darren McFadden's running back's a question mark. So, you know, I don't really know what, what mindset they're going to be in. I think, it all is gonna, I think this game is going to be determined on what happens in the first half. If the Chiefs run up the score, I think some starters will rest. They'll get, get looking uh, forward to the playoffs. All right, you talked about running up the score. Let's talk about offensively what the Chiefs might come into this game with. Is it a, a day where you can try a couple of things, a couple of new formations, or do you play it pretty much like you've been playing it, don't want to give anything away going into uh, the You know, I, I, we saw a few wrinkles offensively against Tennessee that, that maybe something is a foreshadowing to the playoffs, but I don't think this is going to be this may very vanilla offense. This is going to be, you know, let's do the things we do well. Let's let's work on a couple of formations. Let's work on a couple of situations. Let's get, you know, the players that are going to be involved. But I don't think you're going to see any trick plays. I don't think you see a lot of reverses, flea flickers. You know, I would be surprised anyway uh, if that's the case. All right, NFL players can't look past the next game, but we can. Sure we can. So let's look ahead to <laughs> what matchup in the playoffs best sets up for the Chiefs. Well, I, I think if they, if they face the New York Jets, which is probably the likeliest scenario should the Chiefs win, um, then, then I like that matchup. I mean, the Jets have really struggled down, down the stretch. Uh, they've got a young quarterback. Uh, Mark Sanchez has really struggled when he's had to throw the ball. He's had moments where he's been good. And, of course, he led him to the AFC Championship a year ago, but it wasn't on his passing arm. It was the fact that they just had a great opportunistic defense and they ran the ball well with Thomas Jones, who happens to be a chief right yeah. now. Um, so I know Thomas Jones wants that game. I think they match up well against them. If it's the Steelers or the Ravens, I still think they match up pretty well with them. I, I think the home field advantage at Arrowhead is going to be something that I don't think teams are going to be able to overcome. Not this year. Maybe next year it's a little different story, but I think the magic is back at Arrowhead, and I think whomever the Chiefs play a week from Saturday or Sunday is, is going to be a, in for a tough task. All right, Nick Athen, thanks for coming in hey, today. My pleasure. All right, for more on this week's game and the Chiefs, go to WarpaintIllustrated.com. You can also... Uh, call 1-888-979-0979.